welcome back to my channel and in today's video I wanted to come on and do a little pre-op um, food haul just the things that I've been picking up along the way some of these I've had for a few months now and our repurchases and actually others are things that I'm trying for the first time as you guys know my pre-op diet starts Thursday um, October 17th but I myself have started a little bit early um, little fails trials and errors here and there um still doing a little few food funerals here and there but for the most part i'm trying to 100 percent get myself ready for surgery as well as pre-op so um, i bought a few things for now because i'm of course starting my pre-op a little bit early but i'm also um getting a little head start on the things that i need uh, for pre-op as well as um post-op the first two weeks so my pre-op diet is a little bit different from other people's. Um, I'm able to have meals throughout the day. I am on a 1,000 calorie diet. I can have um, granola bars, um, fruit bars. I can have smart ones, healthy choice. Um, what else? Lean cuisine, stuff like that in the healthier range. Just making sure that it's not um, packed with like sodium. The calories should be less than 500 a meal um and things like that so the way i think i'm gonna do it is um one to two meals a day and then substitute a meal with um protein so i wanted to show you one of my favorites right now and this is the healthy choice stats are really good protein is really high and it's less than 300 calories um and this is the healthy choice grilled chicken marinara with parmesan this is really good. Um, I have some smart ones as well in the fridge, but I just thought to pick out one and I'm gonna have at least one of these a day. It's probably for lunch. And then um, I wanted to go with the Muscle Milks or the Premier Protein, but when I went to Walmart, they did not have those on stock. So I went with this one and this is the Core Power High Protein Milk Shake. It has 24 grams of protein um, with each bottle and then it also has um, five grams of sugar so I don't think I'm gonna pick these up for um, the pre-op diet I'll probably finish these I have eight of them I'll probably finish them um, within the week I'll probably be on like day one or two of um, pre-op but um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Walmart later in the week and I'll probably pick up my muscle milks only because they're like 25 to 30 in protein and it's less in sugar and it honestly it tastes kind of sweet to me so i don't i mean i think they say get five grams or less so i mean i'm pretty sure i'll be fine with this brand but i don't want to get like used to that brand and then i got a generic brand which is a um walmart brand and this is the high performance protein shake vanilla it's 30 grams and one sugar I got just four of these, so I'll probably save these for my pre-op. I also have some yogurt, and this is for now. This actually has um, quite a bit of sugar. Um, it's Greek yogurt, and it has 12 grams of protein. These I'm going to have now to make um, some smoothies. I have the Greek yogurt. I have protein powder. I have frozen fruit, and I have some orange juice. So that's just something that I'm going to be making in the next four to five days. And clearly, I only have four, so... That's just something that I'm going to be making before the pre-op even happens, but um, not during the pre-op time. So I have from today, which is Saturday, until Thursday to still, um, you know, create my own little things. And then I have um, this collagen pellets. Now, I don't, this has protein in it. You can use this, you know, as your protein powder. It has 18 grams of protein. This goes really well with smoothies. It goes really well with like broth and stuff like that because you do not taste it at all. You can cook it with like your grits and stuff like that. But I will be buying like a whey protein. But I also love this as well because it's really good for like your hair, skin, and nails. This is a full pack and then I have, my phone is actually on the other one and it's like halfway done. So I, I really, really like that. Um, I have some low sodium chicken broth. This is five calories. So I'm gonna buy probably like five more of these. And then I have some, I just bought organic, honestly, because it was cheaper. So I have some organic vegetable broth and this is fat-free, gluten-free. This was also fat-free. This is five calories as well and no protein. So I can do like um, 
half a cup of this and then put a scoop of this in it and that will be like protein right there so i'm just you know trying to get little ideas and then next i bought this off of amazon and this was like i'm really really big you guys know in the past i've tried a lot of like the clear proteins because i'm not really a big fan of the shakes so i decided to purchase one of these off of amazon it is a 12 pack of um protein 2o now the only thing about these i mean it does have a great amount of um protein it has 15 grams of protein zero sugar and 70 calories the only thing is it has caffeine in it so i've been drinking them now only because i don't know if that's a problem i mean i know people drink decaf coffee which decaf coffee does have caffeine in it i believe even though it says decaf i believe it still has caffeine in it don't quote me but this has one 125 milligrams of caffeine so i'm not sure if i'm really able to drink this but today saturday i drank two of these so if i can drink let's see monday tuesday wednesday thursday yeah i can finish these before i even start my pre-op like i said it's good for me before pre-op to get used to things i was able to drink two of these today i drank i think two blue ones because i really like the blue ones but i personally like the um protein 2.0 i have a blue one which was tolerable and then i have i have a red one which is tolerable and then i have the blue one which i really like i do shake it up a lot and i do like it cold um i've tried the premier protein clear ones i really like those as well so i am um you know i'm still buying a few things but this is what i have for right now i have these as well like you already know i'm a big fan of these i didn't try these two flavors this is the iced tea with peach and then this is the strawberry watermelon so i bought i have two each which i didn't open yet and then this is probably one of my staples this is um strawberry lemonade i absolutely love this one it's already been open i just wanted to show you guys and then i had to try this this is my first time ever getting this i was at the dollar store and i seen kool-aid like really honestly i don't really like it it has six packs in it i'm gonna drink it but i don't think i'll repurchase this one but i just had to buy it because it was kool-aid um but all in all this is all i bought i will be doing like i said another trip um later next week so that i can get like a big bulk of stuff a lot of this stuff i will not probably even be having only because um i still have like a lot of stuff like um the yogurts are really gonna be like from now until probably thursday so i honestly i probably won't even drink a lot of these um so i do have a few things to start off the pre-op but i do not want to you know go to the store in the first two weeks or at least the first 10 days and just have everything home with me um these type of cases i probably will buy like two more of these just to have um like i said i'm gonna buy some more um chicken stock and another good thing is i have amazon prime so if i do feel like i'm getting a few low on things amazon prime delivers in like literally two days that's how i got the protein water so i'm not really worried about things too much but i know um there always are deals at certain stores so i just want to see what's in stock um i'm not trying to like try too many things right now i tried a, a lot of things while i was in the four months maintenance period so i have a good idea of you know what i want to buy but um I hope this was helpful if you guys have any tips and tricks for me that are even either either on the pre-op or past the pre-op definitely let me know down in the description box and i will talk to you later bye guys